Now, let's talk to you about a color blitz. These are hardy hibiscus. Now, you can't tell from the look on the screen, but you're going to see in a moment how big these are. These are dinner plate size. They're big as your head hibiscus, all right? This is, I mean, if you wore this as a corsage, it would cover your whole body. Yeah, I mean, it's enormous. These are amazing, and you get a, a two-piece color blitz. They're called hardy hibiscus. These are dual light plants. Katie DeBoe, come out here, my darling, because these are remarkable. I Big, am so excited. Huge, yes. gorgeous. It's nice to see you yes, again, friend. Thank you. We're going to come back in a moment. You're going to meet Katie DeBoe. Katie is our Cottage Farms brand ambassador. She is also a woman that has written books on gardening trends. She knows, I mean, she, of all the people in the building right now, she is the smartest gardener I know. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll, take it. <laughs> I'll put her up against any gardener you got. Um, we're thrilled to have you back. Nice I am to so see you. I'm so excited to be here, especially with these first presentation of the year. You want to walk up to these and show how big they are? Uh, I mean, I don't know how I can. These are huge. I mean, if you wore this on your, as, a, for, as a corsage, it would cover your whole shirt. <laughs> Look at that. They're enormous. Yes. I don't know if it's. Uh, Ray, can we shoot maybe this? There we go. Look how big this is. Now, there's my hand, and there's one bloom. Yes, one bloom. My hand. And I've got big meat hooks. <laughs> My hand, one blue. Yes. And you get two pieces. Yes. So one is this hot pink. Hot pink. And one is this more yes. lavender. Yeah, very awesome and summer in paradise. Are oh, very awesome names? and summer in paradise. <laughs> I, it looks like Hawaii has landed in my Doesn't backyard. Doesn't it? And so that's a great point, and I'll start right there, because while these look tropical, they are, in fact, super, super hardy. We get these from a grower who has bred them in Michigan. Michigan. So these are hardy to negative 30. They can take high winds. They can take the cold. They are doing all that work underground, hibernating, and then they pop back in summer. You know what the wind chill is going to be here tomorrow night? Oh, I don't want to know. No, I well, don't. Well, first of all, the air temperature here in Westchester tomorrow oh, night no. is 11. Oh. And I'm going to guess the wind chill is going to take us below zero. Yeah, me too. It's going to be, we're, we're, that Arctic blast is going to be taking yep. over much of the country uh, for the next couple of days. It's going to be super duper cold. But you don't need to worry. You won't need to worry about your hibiscus. Now, do these come back every year? They come back every year. They're yes, perennials. they are perennials. Now they are midsummer to that first frost, so they're not going to be the plant that bursts forth in spring because maybe they've been hibernating for so long. But they are going to pop up here in Pennsylvania. It's right around the Fourth of July. But when they when they make a presence known, they come on. They're going to arrive. <laughs> I mean, look how big these are. I'm going to put my hand in front of one of the balloons. I want you to see, and I've got big, big hands. I mean, I can play an octave and a half on the piano. <laughs> I mean, look, I've got big hands, and look at those blooms. Now, you're saying by 4th of July we'll have blooms this big? So by 4th of July, they'll start to come out of the ground. A lot of people call me and they say, my hibiscus are not coming back. F July 5th, they start to poke up. And then within about two weeks, they are starting to bloom. Okay, so two weeks after the 4th yes, of yes, July. Yes, yes, okay. yes. So, so uh, around mid-July, mid to late July. Yes, and of course that all depends on where you live and what the weather is like. But people wait for these because they are so, you're getting this tropical flair. You're getting this look. You know, we had a tropical hibiscus on earlier and it's sold out because people love that look of the tropics. You want to have an escape. You want to feel like you have gone on vacation, but all you did was dig a little hole, plant this in, and it does all the rest of the work. And this growing guide is uniquely written for the hibiscus. How much water, how, what kind of soil it needs, how much sun or not. And uh, let me just ask you, since we don't, we don't want to strain our eyes. Um, we can read this when we get it at home. But yes. do we want full sun, part sun? So these are great in part sun. They also will thrive in full sun. But it's okay. If you have a part sun spot, these will take that, which means about four hours of sun a day. Okay, and then how much water? So, you know, unfortunately, because these were an item we just brought in, we don't have the ship sample, but I think we have a picture of it. So these are going to be a bare root plant, which is great, which means water them in when you plant them, and it's probably going to be spring when you plant them, because we only ship these to you at exactly the right time for you to plant them. And they will not them. ship before they're safe to plant. Correct, exactly. Yeah. And it's spring. The likelihood of you having a lot of, I'm not telling you not to water them, but bare root are the hardiest way to plant things. So you dig these, you bear, you plant the entire 
bare root under the ground, mm -hmm. and that's all you need to do. They now, do the rest. And these are big. Big. They get to be about four or five feet wide by four to five feet tall. So what you're doing here is you're creating a colorful hedge. You want to block your, you know, maybe a neighbor who might be a little too noisy uh -huh. or too loud. Or nosy. Or nosy. Yeah. Or maybe an air conditioning unit or an ugly fence. These do that double duty for you with these amazing, huge dinner plate size flowers. Maybe it's the electrical or the cable box. It yes. just happens to be. You're blessed yes. with it in your yard, right? And you want to cover that up. This is ideal. These are big, they're bold, they're beautiful, and they're going to be the envy of the neighborhood. Yes, they will. We call them 60 mile an hour plants. Because you're driving by, someone's driving by, they go, Arr! and they let, slam on their brakes. Let me stop and get a better look yes. at this. Yeah, these are enormous. I want to show you the size of these again. Let me walk over here. Now look at my hand. And look at the size of these blooms. These are not exaggerated. No, they are not. These are how big they're going to be. And they will be loaded on the plant. In fact, while we're close up, we have buds that are coming. You can see they're covered in buds. This plant is ready to go. And remember, this is it's ready February. To burst. Ready to burst. I'm going to hold these so we can get a nice shot of those. Yes. Look at those buds. Let those just do their thing. And these little buds will turn into these great big flowers. Let me put my hand in front of the bloom again just to give you a perspective. Look how big these They're are. They're huge. I mean, if you were to pick this and put it on your shirt like a corsage, it would cover your whole shirt. <laughs> This is fantastic, and I've got to believe that there's such anticipation when they're about to pop. Oh, that right? really is, because it almost happens overnight. You know, you're you're thinking, my hibiscus, my hibiscus, and then it's that midsummer flower. We have so many beautiful, great spring flowers. Mm. I love them. But our summer flowers, because it can get so hot, sometimes we don't have those ones that shine in the summer. So this is going to be that summer extravaganza. Mm -hmm. We've got our summer in paradise, which is this deep berry red red atop that green glossy foliage with that red eye. Isn't that red eye beautiful? And then we've chosen the berry awesome because it has that complimentary red eye. So if you like the color of the pink and pink and red type of look, which I personally love in fashion, you can plant these together. If there's ever an opening on the naming committee, uh -huh. I would like to be on Okay, that isn't it fun? Yeah. <laughs> because I think with a glass of wine and Ooh. a whole afternoon of naming flowers, we'd we have would a big have time. a good time. We'd have a big yes. time. Yes. All right, so don't miss out on this opportunity. We're very excited about these. And how many ordered now, Brian? Third. 1,500 now gone in this show. Oh, you're going to love them. And I have 500 people waiting to place orders. I used to say the phone lines were busy, but that's not how people order yeah. exclusively. Yep. They also order on the app and the computer. That's great. So what I like to say is our ordering lines are yes. very, very busy. Phone lines, computer lines, app, all of it. So please use QVC.com and your mobile app as your best ordering experience right now. We're getting busier by the moment, and everybody is understanding they get both of these. They don't yes. choose. You get both of these. Ooh. And these are called what again? These are called hibiscus. No, uh, the, the oh. uh, color names. So this is Summer in Paradise. Beautiful. And very awesome. Very awesome. <laughs> very nice. Hey, don't miss out on these. We're going to keep you updated on these. And you get both pieces. You're coming back, I believe, with one more item? I am. Oh, the was strawberries. The strawberries. What am I thinking? Of course. I can't wait. The ever Strawberry sweet shortcake. strawberries. I'm looking forward to Juicy. it. Juicy. In the meantime, Grandpa's Weeder is coming up in the show.